Hello everyone, welcome to the first game I'm going to um, figure out here. I am going to play as the T.C. Williams High Titans, and we are playing against the Southern Illinois Salukis. Um, both these are created teams. Someone had created T.C. Williams High School in the team builder um, so we're going to play as T.C. Williams High, and if you recall, it is from the movie, we're going to, uh, Armstrong is going to be, uh, receiving the ball. Armstrong takes it about the five-yard line, gets a run down to about the 15-yard return. Um, here we go, let's, uh... Let's begin. Quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Ronnie Bass leads the offense out. He might not be able to get the pass off. Decides Ronnie Bass runs it, runs it down to the, about the 35-yard line, gets an 18-yard rush from Ronnie Bass. He looks, he sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him. And he Titans come out on offense. Second play of the game, Ronnie Bass under center. First down. Petey Jones in the is the running back. Petey Jones gets taken down for a four-yard loss. How about that? I don't know if it's never thought that. Somebody's got to be able to play. Here we go. We're plays all day. Second and fourteen. About seven twenty remaining here in the first quarter. Ronnie Bass doesn't like what he sees. Ronnie Bass, there it is. Throws it. Open to Glasgow for a first down for a 14-yard reception. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. And they get Petey Jones off to a good start here. He lost four yards previously. Ronnie Bass doesn't like the uh, like what he sees, so he. Petey Jones, Petey Jones. Takes it ball down for a six yard game. It is 6.40 to go here in the first quarter. We are live here at TC Williams High. The pitch to Petey, and he, he fumbles it. Lasting, Lasting gets the ball. Louis Lasting recovers it. It's third and 18. That was unreal. Third and 18, Petey Jones just not uh, being careful with the ball here. Ronnie Bass gets it out, throws it incomplete. Complete is fourth and 18, and the punt team comes out. Meyer is waiting for the snap. Oh, that is not going to be a very good kick for the punt team. This is the, this is what, this is what everyone has uh, came to look forward to. It is big Bertier, Bertier and Campbell. Campbell tries to get it. Oh no, it's only a three yard reception though for the Southern, Southern Illinois Salukis. Can uh, Gary Bertier and other All-American Campbell, can they get some sacks today? Oh, he throws it out. It is wide open by number 86. We don't know how, we don't know the names of the Salukis yet, but that was a big play on a second down and seven. T.C. Williams High Titans. They are losing seven to nothing against the Southern Illinois Salukis. Armstrong, Armstrong gets it. Takes it down to about the, it was about the 35 yard line, maybe. No, it was actually a 25 yard line. Are they gonna get the ball back to Petey Jones? Petey Jones has had a hard time being able to hold on to the football tonight. P. Jones is just not doing it tonight. We're gonna have to try something else with the offense. Ronnie Bass is gonna have to see if he can't 
Ball on the Throw the ball. Twenty bass. There it is. Oh, inter one-handed interception! Unreal. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands too. Ronnie Bass is one of three for 14 yards. Gary Bertier. Can Gary Bertier get in there? And he's tackled at the 30. No, wide receiver number 80 with an eight yard reception. Quarterback number 18 is three for three. They're gonna have to get in there. Come on, Campbell. Ooh, first down. They got the first. For about four yards, and they'll pick up a first down. I think they were expecting. 420, two and counting. Can the TC Williams High defense? Can they get a stop? Julius Campbell, no. Oh. At the 42. They got four yards on that one. He took what that was unreal. That time, which is okay. They're going to have to get a stop. Five of five for 81 yards. Six to go. Is the Southern Illinois Salukis quarterback. Can Campbell get in there? Campbell, come on, Campbell, get up. Throws it. Third and six. This is going to be a big third down. Big third down and six. Can the T.C. Williams High defense hold? What is... Oh, no, they did not hold. Gary Bertier was trying to blitz and left his man wide open. You've got the defense. That is not how you're going to... Not the T.C. Williams High defense I remember. receiver first down 12-yard reception that is just unreal by the the slickies are just running it down the tc williams high throat right now they're just running it down the throwing the ball wherever they want to right now Salute quarterback is 115 yards in the first quarter. Good second and five here. This is Ball really line. not the defense that I remember watching. Out of bounds. Third and two. There's a big third down and two right now. Can the This is the tenth play of this DC Williams high defense? Can they get a stop here? Oh no, he just gets an 11 yard reception. Defense just right now cannot stop the Saluki's offense right now. 240 remaining here in the first quarter. Oh, he pitched it. Pitch number 32. He goes in the end zone. Saluki's up 13 to nothing. Ending the extra point, it'll be a two touchdown lead for the Salukis. And he hits the PAT. The can the, can the Titans, can they get something going? Armstrong takes it from the end zone down to about the 15 yard line, a 23 yard reception. The quarterback Ronnie Baz leading the TC Williams high interception on the last drive. Back out there. Can they get somewhere? Can they do something? No, he fumbles it. PD Jones grabs it and he's sacked for a safety. Now the defense will have to come up. That is not the way the TC Williams high wanted to start their game tonight against the Southern Illinois Salukis. Tackle the 37 yards. That is unreal. So I'm going to see what this. Um, the quarterback did a really I'm going to see what this uh, video looks like. And um, this, is a, this is a test video. Um, either I have played with the Salukis in my in a dynasty. Um, but I pretty much uh, just a few feet away. have not really done much with them. Um, I started uh, like a coaching dynasty. I started out as an offensive coordinator. 
And uh, so I'm gonna try to. That's a great tackle. I'm gonna start out with a team uh, when I do the when I upload videos. Um, and I'm going to walk through a dynasty. I haven't decided what teams I'm gonna go with yet, but um, hopefully you will like the video. Uh, inside this video, I will give you some um, teams that I'm thinking about doing um, for my first uh, actual uh, dynasty that I upload. I will put it on my YouTube channel. Um, Zips it to the back. Let's see what happens. The Salukis are just running. They're just running away from this game right now. A minute 29. I cannot. I cannot believe that. But uh, we will uh, see what happens. So it is first and ten. Can the TC way on? Oh, Gary Bertier was wanting that sack, but unfortunately he forces it. He forces uh, them to uh, Second and ten. throw it out of bounds. 22. And that was 179 yards for the Sloopies. 14 yards of offense for the... Uh, 14 yards of offense for the T.C. Williams High Titans. And that is not going to uh, be able to win the game if they only have 14 yards of offense. They are going to have to pick it up offensively and defensively, actually. Um... Intercepted by Walter. He takes it. He takes it down to the 40. Down to the 50. He is pushed out of bounds at the about the 46 yard line. Can, was that the play that going to turn the game around? It's first down. Ronnie Bass leads the offense back out on the field. Finally into opponent territory. Petey Jones. Petey Jones is just not getting it done tonight. I think I think the coach is going to make a uh, substitution here. So here we go. Um, Ronnie Bass is going to be coming out for Jerry Harris. Um, we're going to see what those players can do. See if they can give them a different spark. Um, the pursuing the ball. Looks like the coach Herman Boone decided to. Put Jerry Harris and Brandon Armstrong in instead of uh, instead of uh, Ronnie Bass or um, Petey Jones. I think Petey Jones needed that actually uh, go to the bench. Um, they're down burden 0 for 1. But can the TC Williams High, can they get something here? And they just came full fledged. The offensive lineman didn't even block him. It was a big sack. It was the end of it's going to be the end of the first quarter here in TC Williams High. That'll bring an end to the first quarter. Salukis are up 16 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Myers is the punter. So as I talk to you here, as the punt goes away um, to the Salukis. That was a good point. Can they get it down? Can it? Oh, no. There's a flag on the play. I don't know what that was for. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. I don't know what that was against. And we will accept the penalty. Uh, so it's first and ten at their own ten yard line. Um... So now would be a great time to talk about the uh, my dynasty of uh, what teams I want to. I'm thinking about. I think I'm down uh, down to the final four teams. Um, so I want I want it to be a little of a of a challenge. So we're gonna go with the four teams I'm thinking about doing. 
And if you watch the video all the way through and you get to this uh, scene of the game, um, I just want you to see what your what your views are, um, what your um, if you would like the video, if you would like to see more content coming. Um, like I said, I am brand new to this. I've never done anything like this before. I just want to see how I do. Um, kind of has intrigued me as of late. Um, I just want to see see where it all goes. Um, From their own I've, uh, seven yard line. I've always played First Dynasty down. in college football, college basketball, um, other sports franchises. Gary Pertier gets a tackle for the loss. He was been wanting that the whole game. Um, the second and 11 with 647 remaining here in the first half. Uh, what I'm wanting to do, um, what I'm thinking about doing is, um, so I've decided to go with either the Duke Blue Devils, um, trying to rebuild that program. Um, also thinking about rebuilding the Fighting Illini program. Um, that is a program that has severely um, been non-existent for quite a while. And then I am also thinking about doing a Big Ten foe um, the Indiana Hoosiers. Um, I thought about them. And then the other team that I'm considering, I haven't really decided yet. Um, I said this is going to be my first kind of project. That's going to be a be a brand new football team. And I think in NCAA 14, that would be the Georgia State. Uh, would be Georgia State. Um, kind of considering those teams to be um, what I do. Um, so let me see what you guys would think. Um, I'm going to try to upload this video um, later this evening, probably. Um, so just like the video. Um, this is this is mainly. The content you will receive in that dynasty. Um, I want to take it. I want to take a program, and my first project is I want to rebuild. Um, to rebuild a program, uh, bring, take a program that's been non-existent and make them make them relevant in college football. And I know when you think of Indiana, you think of Indiana basketball. You don't think of um, you don't think of Indiana football. Well, the same thing with with the Duke Blue Devils. When you think of the space. Duke Blue Devils, you think of Coach K. You don't think of Duke football. Um, so, with that said, it's same thing with Illinois. Um, Illinois is a basketball, a traditional basketball school. Um, so, what I'm thinking about is doing that. Um, Either one of those teams would probably work. Um, I'm thinking about doing one of those three for sure. I thought about Georgia State, but I do have something in mind later on. Um, I'm just going to see where where we're at here. Um, I don't know. I just don't know yet. So hopefully you'll like the video. Um, like it, subscribe to the uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, any viewers will work. Uh, please put your input. Uh, please comment um, what I could possibly do better. Um, I've never done this before, so any anything will help and. Makes it the punt team comes out yet again, 
trailing trailing 23 to nothing um trailing 23 to nothing and that's a uh, very after the sack it's very interesting for the old he's he's waiting for the snap Makes it out to yeah, the so please, um, 408 left remaining here in the first half. I'm going to load, uh, I'm going to play half the game. I just want to see kind of where I'm at. Um, please like the video if you like it. If you want, uh, please leave comments. I want to see kind of where I'm at. Um, what, what can I do better? Um, said this is my first ever time. Um, I uploaded a video last week and the voice was really horrible so I did get a headset um, I just want to see kind of where where I'm at hopefully the um, hopefully it works um, I don't know other than that I just really don't know so anybody that watches this please give it a like um, I don't I've never done this before, so I just want to see kind of where I'm at um, and what I need to do better. Um, so, yeah. I appreciate the comments. So, Campbell, Campbell almost gets a sack, but it is, does not get there. Forces them. Their quarterback has 277 yards. Um, much is unreal. Hard. Their defense, the Titans, is just not getting ball done. So. They try to run him inside and hammer down. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Come to the line, trying to said, uh, if this is going to be I'm going to only upload one half tonight. I'm only going to play one half. Um, I do have to work here in a little bit. So, Brent interception in the end zone. He brings it out. I don't know why he didn't stay in the end zone. He read that play just perfect. Can The offense do something. Jerry Harris under center. Armstrong in the back. He pitches it out. Oh no, he fumbled. No, he gets away. Oh, I for sure thought he was going down. Unreal. That was a that was a big play on Brandon Armstrong's part. I really thought that he was gonna go down and take a sack in the end zone and have a safety, but Nevertheless, he doesn't. Jerry Harris throws it to Glasgow down to about the 35-yard line. That is the best-looking offense that they I've seen all day from the T.C. Williams High Titans. Jerry Harris in the shotgun. He's scrambling. He throws it. He did not get his feet set before he threw it, so he thrown it on the run, and that was not a good play for the um, for Jerry Harris. Jerry Harris won five twenty-seven yards tonight. From their own, can they get something going? Second down. Jerry Harris gets sacked big time for a 15-yard loss. They are just going to have to do something. I don't know what yet. They just got to. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Cannot get nothing going. The defense held their ground on that play. Had a, the quarterback just but they had a promising drive, but it stalled yet again. 139 remaining in the first half. Coming after this punt. 
That punt was not a good punt at all. They're probably getting the ball off the 50-yard line. That Southern Illinois offense is just unreal. 30 pass plays, 277 yards, four rushing plays. Wow, that is awesome offense. My offense is nowhere near. So, that's it. With that said, 16 yard reception for the offense. So, so well, give credit here. Look, you're just running away with this game. And Julius can't get us that. And their offense just keeps on. Going. But, um,. Like the video, like the, uh, as we're approaching the end of the first half, um, this will be the last, um, this will be the last, um, and he was pretty much only video I upload tonight. I'm only playing one half. Uh, so hopefully you like the video. Um, I hope it actually is something that you're interested in and I'm going to do it. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what team I'm going to do yet whether it be the Duke Blue Devils, whether it be uh, the Illinois Fighting Illini, or even the Indian Hoosiers. Um, one of those three teams that leaves what I'm going to do. Um, I really haven't decided yet. And that that is another touchdown for the Sloopy offense. 42 seconds left in the first half. T.C. Williams high down 30 to nothing. Can they get a big kickoff return? So I am I am playing on Heisman. I just figured that this is the most realistic. Um, I used to play online dy or dynasties before, and I would I beat teams like 77 to like 14, and that's like that's unrealistic. You just a college football team just does not score 77 points. They don't average like 800 yards of offense. So I uh I just want wanted something that's more of a challenge. Um, I've never played in high school before up until last week, so that's very interesting for me. Even I'm still trying to learn that aspect of it. Um, a lot harder than the step before Heisman, so that's what that said. Try to do that. There's 18 seconds left. Can they, I'm trying to get him down to field goal position. He's under some heat. Rolls right here. And they just cannot get the ball like the out today. In there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Myers is back to pump the ball yet again. Myers awaits the snap. It's a low Myers is not punting the ball at very well at all. Ten seconds left on the Titans 44 yard line. Let's see what happens. Can Campbell can good here get a sack? Can they get to the quarterback? He's taken down at the 33 yard line. And that's another first down. 11 yard reception. That quarterback for the Salukis 330 yard, two interception, three TDs, and they are just rolling tonight. Walks the ball. Two seconds left. They're gonna bring out the field goal unit. They're just gonna try to put three points up on the board. Can Armstrong try to get a return out of it if he misses? Probably not. It's good. 33 to nothing at the end of the half. Hope everyone likes. Please comment uh, what I could do better. Um, and that is all I have for you tonight. Thank you.